You want to talk about kicking me out of that event on Monday? I didn't kick you out of the event on Monday. Well, you said you, t you talked to her about it. I didn't kick you out of the event on Monday. You sure? So we can talk about this for two hours. I still didn't kick you out of the event. The lady that planned the event did that for you. Really? Really? Well, she invited me. She put my, my wife and uh, me on the guest list. Okay, well, I guess your issue is with her, not with me. Well, you said you talked to her about it. I just, I confirmed what she told me, and the lieutenant sure did. And what'd she tell you? She said it was a private event and you weren't invited. Well, I have the recorded phone call from her that said she told me I was invited and my wife. Gave her my name and everything. Fantastic. Go talk to her. Really? Really? Know nothing about it. Didn't make any suggestions well. or anything. You don't hear very well. I, told you I just don't believe you. Her. You know, my experience with most of your police officers is that they're they're habitual liars. Are they now? Yep. But you know that's your job as a police officer is to lie to people, right? Yeah, so you, your, so you can get what you job? want. Oh. Hmm? What's your job? I work hard every day. Doing. None of your business. Well. Well, you're welcome to get your trailer stamped if you'd like to. Well, but, uh, again, again, this is public property. If you would like to trespass me again from public property, you can go ahead and do it. Did anybody ask you to leave? No. Okay. I just you, said you're telling you, me go ahead and get a trailer. You see my car there. Obviously, I don't have a trailer on my car, right? If you have one, we'd be happy to stamp your I, I wouldn't let y'all touch any of my property ever, unless right. you got a warrant. Okay. We was trying to help you, so that's your you, choice. You don't try to help anyone. What about my FOIA request that you keep ignoring? I'll let the attorneys handle that. Oh, do so, you? Again, you need to talk with them. You don't have that. the ability to disseminate information? I have the ability to do a yeah, lot of things. Of course I'll you let do. The attorneys do that. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because that's what the attorneys get paid for. Well, have you ever read the FOIA law? I've read the FOIA law several times. And it says who's, whoever is in possession of the records can give them out. Well, that's why we have the attorneys and the you know, protocol that we handle like that. Really? Really. Oh, well, you may bring a chair. I can come sit with you and hang out. As you said public property. Go up and do well, you didn't think it was public property on Monday. Not with me. You got a problem with? Oh, who is it? With our cheeks? Our cheeks is my problem, because you whispered in his ear to go ahead and get a transport van. Go ahead. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah. I thought he was going to arrest you. For what? I can look at your video. You For what? Made. Well, you y'all can all go look oh, at it. It's on YouTube right now. Huh? You go look at it on YouTube. Go for it. What's your YouTube page? L Jaws. L Jaws. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of your videos got about ten thousand views. Cool. Looking like a moron. You know, Kyle, I pray for you. You got a problem. You know what? I, I was thinking. I, I would really love it. Would you pray with me right now? Absolutely. Really? Do it. Let's do it. May I put my hand on your shoulder? Yeah, of course. I would ask you to be with my friend Kyle. I don't know what the issues between he and I and the department are, but if we could fix this and get it come to some kind of agreement, we'd love to do that. Kyle works very hard and he's very passionate about whatever he's doing. So I don't see his point and he don't see my point. So maybe we can get together and, and see how we can better help the community instead of being confrontational all the time. I just ask you to be with my friend Kyle and bless him in every way. And I ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. You like a water? Sure. Give me a napkin so I can wipe this off. Uh, it don't matter. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, and you know, you, you said you don't know what my problem is, but you've never asked me. Okay, what's the problem? Um, the first one, where it started. You wanna know where it all started? Yes, sir. You do? Uh, the Sparber Water public meeting, where I was trespassed from a public meeting. Thank you. I, I didn't have anything to do with that. But your officers did, and I filed a complaint and nothing was done. Because they were in the right. How were they in the right? The people that were running that show have the right to say who is in their meeting, who speaks, who don't. Well, I, I would disagree with you because FOIA law gives me the statutory right to attend any public meeting. I agree with that. Okay. And there was no accusation of me being disruptive, 
being loud, being aggressive, nothing. I didn't even get in the meeting. They wouldn't let me in the door to the building. Again, I wasn't there, right? You agree with that? No, but you are who I need to address this with. Yeah, and I looked at it, and I didn't see where the officers did anything but follow a request from the people that were running the meeting. So they're kind of put in a bad position sometimes, too. A lot of them are like, you know, okay, maybe we agree, maybe we don't, but we still got to follow what the rules are. Well, if, if you read any of the Attorney General's decisions or opinions, do you ever read those? Some. Well, there's a few on there about attendance of public meetings and, and the people having the statutory right to attend a public meeting. I'm not arguing about that. And he even, right. he even states that you cannot trespass someone from a public meeting that they aren't disrupting. Now, you could arrest them for being disorderly, disorderly conduct in the meeting, but you I can't arrest... I don't remember anybody accusing you of that, though. No, I was just trespassed. Right, but I don't remember anybody saying you were disorderly or... Of course, because I'm never disorderly. I don't curse, I don't scream, I don't yell, I just talk to people. Yeah. Paul, there are differences of opinion on that. You can be disorderly conduct without yelling, screaming, and cursing. Have I been disorderly no, today? No, I'm not accusing you, I'm just trying to keep well, some, some knowledge. I would just like to understand what the threshold is for disorderly. Could you explain that to me? I guess it depends on where you are. Okay. And it would depend on what the judge would agree. <laughs> <laughs> we know who the judge is going to agree with, right? Well, not all the time. <laughs> yeah. Of the time, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it was, you know, they never tried, to, tried it again when I went back. I guess they were maybe apprised on the law. And then you send uh, Moro out there every single time to uh, hang out with me while I go to a public meeting. Well, the Supreme Court has already said it's fighting words, you know. Yeah. But, you know, municipal judges, they, they don't care. Well, I agree, it's highly vague. Yeah. Which is unconstitutional to make a law that's highly vague. I ain't arguing about that. So really, that was that was my main issue. If I just got received an apology for threatening to trust me, pass me from a public meeting, I <laughs> you wouldn't have ever seen me again. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I've yeah, I've no. I have attempted so many times and written so many letters and so many emails, so many complaints, and and nothing has ever been said. You know, I have tried to communicate. Y'all have not communicated. Kyle, I'm telling you, I, I've got 541 employees. There's no way, and I, I try, when an apology is necessary, you, you watch the news when we did something and, and arrested the wrong guy. I wasn't good with that. I made a, an apology and tried to fix it. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that, because... I've you must have got been in some big trouble because no, I've never seen no you problem. apologize for nothing. Well, you always make sure to tell everybody you're not sorry for what you say or do. No, when I'm not, I'm not. This guy, I wasn't in no trouble. So you can well, I know you can't get in trouble. You no, got your I own did. personal army. I wish I did. It'd make life a little bit better. Well, uh. 
they have to do anything you tell them to. No, they don't have to follow an unconstitutional order. Well, they'll be fired. Well, you got a very different opinion about a lot of things, don't you? I guess so. Yeah. Well, you have a right to do that, but I don't, I don't operate like that, Kyle. Well, that's not what I've seen. So I just, it, it concerns me for the people of Spartanburg, the things that I've seen. Oh. Well, I'm actually thankful a lot of people don't agree with you on that one. Well, the, um, talking about Facebook and me uh, making posts that didn't violate any of the uh, policies of your Facebook, and I was uh, blocked from making posts. Um, the sheriff's office one? Yep. And the, the fourth district, has, which is our state is in, uh, had a court ruling that said that it's a traditional public forum and you cannot prevent f people from uh, their free speech on your traditional public forum. Uh, okay. Somehow I'm unblocked now, which, which is good, but I was blocked for a while there. And, and when I FOIA requested the blocked list that you had, uh, you... I didn't Black. Do any of that. Okay. I well, Bobo. ID I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lieutenant Bobo. Yeah, pause the button. Hang on. Okay. So, are y'all you all being paid right now? What is this? What is this? Skit? Is everyone being paid right now? I'm going to give you a little dose of young men's That's none of your business. Actually, <laughs> actually, it is. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, exactly. So, are y'all being paid right now to stand around? I don't see you doing much. Nobody wants to answer that question? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. He gets paid the same no matter what. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. How you doing, sir? What's up, big man? What's your name? Jason Gray. Jason Gray. What's your position? A detective. Detective. Yeah. Okay. Are you being paid right now? Yeah. You are. You're on the clock. And what are what are your job functions right now? Right now I'm supervising this uh, station right here, stamping station. Stamping station. So you're in charge of it? Not in charge of it. I'm just supervising. Okay. All right. How you doing? Hi there. What's your name? Kyle. Kyle. Hey, same name here. Yep. Oh, so you know me? You just said it was the same name. So. <laughs> uh, what's, what's your position? Investigator. And what's your last name? Yurik. Derek. What was it? Yurik. Yurik. Okay. Are you being paid right now? Yes, sir. So you're on the clock? Yes, sir. You're an hourly employee? I am. Yeah. Okay. And what are you doing right now? I'm waiting on the next trailer to come up, and then we're going to stamp it. How do you do that? What do you do that with? We have a machine that stamps them. How you doing today? Good, how are you, sir? Good. What's your name? Nathan Cole. Are you being paid right now? I am. And what are you doing right now? I'm waiting on a trailer. Waiting on a trailer. Everybody's waiting. Yeah. Nobody's doing anything. Everybody's waiting. That's that's how government works, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what's How much you make an hour? Depends. Depends? Yeah. It doesn't depend. Come <laughs> on. It doesn't change up and down. <clears throat> it does. Unless you get demoted or promoted. Yeah, that's true. So is this overtime hours for all y'all? No, not overtime? Not overtime for you, nobody else answered. I, I don't know, I can't speak for anybody else. And what's your name? Deputy Robinson. Deputy Robinson, okay. And what are you doing here today? Trailer identification. A lot of people doing that. I'm gonna have to watch that process. It takes this many people to do it. Okay. Really just looks like a gravy way to make overtime. We're gonna see if Chuck wants to talk anymore. How you doing today? Unbelievable. Really? Unbelievable. I bet you are getting paid overtime to do nothing. Mm -hmm. That's that's awesome. Um, and what's your name? Mike. Mike what? Miranenko. Miranenko. 
In your position? I'm an investigator. Investigator. A lot of investigators here. You would think they could find employees that don't earn as much as investigators to do this kind of job. Well, th this project is run by the Criminal Investigations Division. Oh, is that what it is? Identification project, yeah. So, <clears throat> who approved this? What's that? Who approved this project? The sheriff. Yeah. The sheriff did? Yeah. Okay. And who's in charge here, sheriff? Well, he is. He's the sheriff, so we yeah. work, work for him. So. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. So all this stuff's free. You don't want to pay for it? Well, I mean, except for the 20 employees that the county's paying for right now, right? And I didn't catch your name. What's your name? Scarborough. Scarborough. Is that your last or first? And what's your position? Detective. Detective. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. A favor. Yeah. We're going you can ask me anything. So let me ask you. We're going to put a secret on this. Can you not film that? A secret? Yes. Can you just not film well, that? Try to well, stamp it. I mean, could you explain to me what a secret is? I will without that. I don't want everybody to know that, Kyle. I mean, you ought to understand that for our, our ends. Well, the, the thing with me is that I believe that anything government does okay. should be open to the public not be secret. What is up with y'all never wanting to stand side by side next to someone? <laughs> What's the deal? Come on, you know my record. There's nothing. Nothing. Nothing to be scared of. Come down here, guys. Except the truth. Here, That's the only thing you had to be scared of with me is the truth. You're one of the smart ones. You can tell the ones who aren't too bright, they talk a lot. Uh-oh. It work. Hey, Josiah. Trying to block, block my view. That's funny. Let's let's watch these guys move again. Don't want the public to see what they're doing. Now, I really don't think it's that big of a secret. Well, I'm not the criminal. Well, you know, I, I wish it worked that way for me. I wish y'all did anything you could do to help me, but I've, I haven't had that. Well, you know... I've met maybe two or three out of the hundreds that I've talked to. Uh, you know, you might be one of the good ones. I'm not, I'm not you know? guy, and I'm not, I'm not gonna say you're a bad guy if you're not, so, you know. Everybody's got a job to do. mind if I lean on this bumper or that okay all right I mean it's, it's partly mine you know could you tell me where it is it's in Spartanburg <laughs> come on tell me where it is and 
coming out on this one just I'd appreciate it. Listen, That's it's not favorite. gonna it's not gonna make it in any video. Nobody wants to watch that. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. I will explain everything to you when you leave. Or start to leave. I will explain why we do that. I mean, it looks like you just put it in a bunch of different locations, laser cut it. I mean, crimes with victims, I'm all about. Me too. Me too. I'm just curious, did, did anybody make y'all uh, aware of the public's right to open carry at a state park? I don't know if he... Uh, we, we know the law on that, yes. Now. No, we do it well. I've been doing this long oh, time. Oh, well, that's, that's a damning statement, because Bobo... Baby Bobo, as I call him, he uh, he threatened to arrest me for open carrying at a state park. A statutory right that I have. What's his name? Baby Bobo. Sheriff, one more question before you leave. Uh, you remember how uh, Baby Bobo? All right. What's that? Oh no, I'm pretty sure I made you aware that Baby Bobo came out to the state park. Who are you talking about, Baby Bobo? You know, come on, Lieutenant Bobo's son. Oh. Okay. He's your employee, you should know him. Well, we don't call him Baby Bobo. Well, that's what I call him. All right. Um, so he threatened to arrest me at a state park for open carrying, and you being, you love guns and people having guns and good people having guns, right? I love them a lot. Hey, so, Tyler's gonna take that for me. So, are you aware that your officer tried to trespass me for breaking no laws and the only reason was open carrying? No, didn't know. Really? Yeah, really. I find that hard to believe because I made a complaint. So, who is that? Is that well, Chief? Let me ask you a question. Is that William what Paris's day is fault? It today? Why? Why does that matter? Just what day is it today? Why does it matter? I find that hard to believe too. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Appreciate what you do. Thank you. You don't seem very open and transparent.